What is up, you ghosty gamers? It is me, Ghost Gamer 260, and welcome back to another reaction. And today, we'll be checking out something new. Now, usually, this channel only goes around video games, uh, theories, stuff like that. But today, we're trying out the, a tier list. Um, the shark tier list, to be exact. Because, why not? Now, Tier Zoo is a channel I've watched a few videos from. Not gonna lie, I've seen a few videos. Uh, I don't remember which one actually. I think it was the alligator or crocodile, whatever you want to call it, that one. And honestly, I liked the video. Saw a lot of other people hop in on this train to react to the tier list, so we're here. By the way, if you don't know what a tier list is, um, it is usually from highest to lowest, ranking the animal bait, well, animal, ranking whatever it is that your list is about. From F being probably the lowest to S being the best you can get. And right now, I'm going to say... I wonder if... The, hold on. First off, do you guys think he'll have the Megalodon or the Goblin Shark in there? I asked this in the last intro. And I'm wondering if he will. But yeah, I think the Great White's going to be an S because I don't really know what could beat a Great White. By the way, leave down below before we begin this reaction. What do you think the most... Best S rank tier shark is. Oh, with that being said, I'll have the original down below. I'll have his channel down below. I'll have my Discord if you want to hit me up or. Wow, oh, I, I really just said hit me up. I really am getting old. And if you and, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and leave a like. It always helps me out and lets me know that you guys are enjoying this series and would love to see more. And with that being said, let's get on the video. Here we go. Oh. oh, I was about to say, look at the, look at those perfect smiles. <sighs> How could we be afraid of such a such a thing? Innovations made by players have been the main driving force behind the biggest meta shifts in the entire history of the game. By the way, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Uh, he does these tier lists like video games. So if you've never seen a video game, or don't even know about it, which, if you don't, I don't know why the hell you're here. You shouldn't even know about the internet at that point. But yeah, if you don't know what any of that is, this video is going to confuse the hell out of you. And I, I, I really don't have any advice for you, so good luck. And today I want to highlight one of the most important, the implementation of the move bite. Puppy. There's actually a fair bit of debate on which guilds can take credit for pioneering this move. But there's no question that one of the first to really perfect it, to the point of being meta-defining, were none other than the Sharks. And since then, sharks. they've been holding on to that top spot tighter than Ice Climber players hold on to a wobbly jaws victim. became a thing. They've been extremely they relevant jaw. in every expansion since the Silurian, something very few guilds can claim. So today I'll go over the tier list of the Sharks, and highlight the main attributes and abilities which have made them such fearsome builds. boys are old! Overall, Sharks are at a pretty good spot in the meta, averaging around B tier. The main benefits of playing a shark build include high mobility, high damage, and most importantly, the ability to sense any player near you due to special ability. Wait. Blood si hold on. Sorry, I'm trying I'm trying to like keep the hat on, but I really cannot hear what the hell he's saying with that. So I'm it's going to look a little weird. Yo, so they can Okay. Like blood okay. Sense and electroreception. Working with some pretty good main stuff here. Main drawbacks include lacking swim bladder, an ability which allows the user to control their buoyancy at will. And also lacking gill flaps. Gill flaps passively oh, missing. regenerate stamina. I was about to say. And is an ability unique to bony fish. I was going to say, those so are both look pretty good. Really generate stamina if they're moving. Now let's talk about individual shark builds. Okay. As always, we'll start from the bottom of the tier list and work our way up. In bottom tier, we have nothing. There are genuinely no shark builds I could justify as being bottom tier. Most sharks don't deviate too far yeah. from the base shark concept. Which is good, because I can, it's a I can, great guide I can kind of success. see that. I can, I can. With that said, not all sharks are created equal, and in D tier, we have two builds, which don't really capitalize on any the of the one benefits on the right. That one looks so cool. Class. First is the Nurse Shark. Low Nurse mobility, shark. sedentary playstyle, and a really weak bite. Instead of abusing the powerful kit available for shark classes, Nurse Sharks rummage around the ocean floor looking for easy XP. However, oh. they do have the strongest suction force of any fish, and since they don't have many terrible matchups, they're definitely Wait, I just realized that's a oh second my gosh. Here we have so they can take the poison? Shark. Jeez. Saw shark players. What are you doing? Bro, what do you Teeth. What do you mean? We have What do you shark. mean? Saw shark. Look at him. He is built to cut through stuff. 
your last shark was apparently better. But, like, my boy is literally ready to swing at the nearest fish and eat it. Players, what are you doing? Teeth are some of the best weapons in the game, and the only drawback to using them is that breaking them can ruin your playthrough. But sharks have replaceable teeth, so that weakness is completely nullified. So why did you opt for this goofy, cumbersome, impractical weapon setup? What you mean? Swinging that thing around uses way too much stamina for what it nets you, and isn't very useful for defending yourself. Whatever, you do you. I don't know, what was that? What was that? You, and isn't very useful for defending yourself. I guess yourself. so, yeah. I guess it does use a bit of energy to swing around. And technically, you can't bite down to keep your prey there, I guess. So. <sighs> I still like the saw shark design. I know this is a sawfish, not a saw shark, but the idea is the same. Okay. Whatever. You do you, I guess. Yeah, you do you. In C tier, we've got all the sharks that decided they'd rather oh, play the entire game instead of making use of the best tools available to sharks. This includes the basking shark, whale shark, oh, basking and shark. any other shark who thought filter feeding was a better idea than being a swimming doom machine. Yes, it may be easy if you make it to the late game, but without good weapons and low mobility, the majority of your playthrough is a huge risk, with mobile fish players like the marlin and sailfish having no problem taking you out. Now we're The funny thing is though, about the basking shark, everybody fears it, but it's like a little it it's like a little Kirby. It doesn't it won't really unless you get like Duck in its mouth, there's not really much it's gonna do to you. This thing is a pacifist, from what I've heard, so it's not really gonna try to kill you. It might come up to inspect what the hell you are, but other than that, you're I'm pretty sure you're good. And no, I'm not a fish biologist, so don't don't take this hundred percent. Don't go jumping near this thing thinking it's hundred percent safe. I could easily be wrong, and that could be your funeral. But without good weapons and low mobility, the majority of your playthrough is a huge risk, with mobile fish players like the marlin and sailfish having no problem taking you out. Now we're in B tier, and we're almost to the shark builds who know how sharks are meant to be played. Almost. But first, we've got two more unorthodox builds. Some of my personal favorites, actually. Ooh. The first is a shark who decided that, despite being one of the smallest of its kind, it would attack the largest builds in the game. The cookie cutter shark. Cookie cutter. cookie cutter sharks are unorthodox. I don't think I've heard of this of going one. What is the this? Predator play style, they function as a parasite. Oh. They simply latch onto a whale or other massive player, and by twisting themselves back and forth, they steal a cookie-shaped bite right off. Oh! This doesn't do much damage to players. No! But interestingly, this build was a secret among the shark guild up until a few cookie cutter players actually. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! No! Can we go back? No, dude. Interestingly, this build was a secret among the shark guild up until a few cookie cutter players accidentally attacked human submarines and actually caused their sonar to malfunction. This was during the Cold War, so the Russians and Americans assumed that the other was somehow sabotaging their submarines. This shark almost started another world war. Well done. Until eventually a Soviet sub surfaced with a shark player still latched on. In B plus two, we have a shark which uses one of the only AOE stun moves seen in the entire game, the Thresher Shark. Attacking. I need to see a photo of this. Difficult. That what and was due to the their tail? Advanced evasion and diversion tactics. You have to be fast, lucky, or clever in order to even catch a single fish. That He's is, unless here. you can hit them with a flashbang, which is essentially what Thresher Sharks do. Thresher Sharks have tails as long as the rest of their body. A flashbang. Use them bang. as a whip, creating oh, shockwaves no. which stun small groups of fish negating their normally excellent evasion that. abilities. They do all of this without deviating too far from the great base stats of the shark. Well. So they retain decent mobility and attack power while wielding this weapon. Dude, that is In crazy. Tier, we finally get to those I've famous never seen core that. shark builds everyone knows, Dude. loves, and fears. It's hard to rank these in relation to each other because they're all just so darn great. We'll start with the tiger sharks. Tiger sharks tiger have sharks higher stealth decent. than most of the well-known shark builds and also have uniquely shaped teeth that make them more effective at cutting through armor and bone. Similar yeah, no, screw to tiger actual sharks. tigers, the main strategy of a tiger shark is to get close to its target with stealth, and then use a quick burst of speed to snatch it before it can react. Ew. On the opposite right, end of the spectrum add. from this strategy, we have the mako shark, which has the highest mobility of all the sharks, and uses this to chase down its target. <laughs> this playstyle requires- I'm sorry. Dude, that is nightmare fuel right there. Imagine this. You're- the boat's going- like- the- <laughs> Imagine you're like a boat, like- 
small boat. Let's say like a tugboat. That's not really small. Imagine you're a boat. You're like going past. And all of a sudden you're back. You have like a little camera in the back. It's picking up something following you. You look and this is all you see. ...ability of all the sharks and uses this to chase down its... What do you do? This play style requires a lot of stamina. So this build breaks the mold and opts for warm blood instead of being cold blooded like most other fish. This gives the Mako Shark the benefits of fast stamina regeneration, allowing it to keep up a pursuit longer than most other hunters. Huh. Since this speed comes at a cost to size, it doesn't quite have the monstrous weight advantage over its targets. And so Mako players need to be careful and not get too greedy. The ocean's other it still is pretty quick demons, though. The swordfish and so it could, it could probably run around. away, wouldn't it? At the top of A tier, we have the bull shark, which has two unique and Okay, so the abilities. great white is at the, the top. is that they have know. the highest bite force of any shark. Meaning that even though they have pretty average teeth in terms of slicing and cutting. Oh, come on! R slash video mods, bro, chill out. Utility. They can still deliver an extremely potent bite. Ooh. The second ability is that bull sharks can enter freshwater servers without receiving the energy sapping what? and damaging debuff that obligates no, 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 no. to do. What? This allows them to travel into rivers and streams where they have no real competition. Imagine you wake up and that's in your pool. What do you do? What do you do? You just have to call somebody up. Be like, hey, got a shark in the pool again. Again? Damn, that's the third time this week. This makes bull sharks the best build for griefing low-level players. Dude. And judging by the bull shark's reputation for being the most aggressive shark, it's clear that this is exactly the type of player that this build attracts. The most aggressive shark. It can swim in fresh water. And I've seen a video where it just bit a person. Yo, humans, we in trouble. We're, we're in trouble if this thing could come right at us. All this thing is missing is the ability to breathe oxygen. Once it figures that out, we're out of the picture. And here we are, the head honchos of the shark guild. There's two builds here that occupy low S tier. And honestly, I can't place one above the other. They're both just awesome. What makes them so excellent is how well they use their tracking abilities, blood sense, and electroreception. The great white shark is no doubt the most feared ocean build in the current meta. We go. And the closest thing to the god tier megalodon still in existence. Still in existence? What do you mean? What do you mean, still in existence? Telling us something there? Something you know? I got my eye on you, Tirzu. They pretty much just take everything that makes sharks so strong and push all of those things to their limit. They don't have as high bite damage as the tiger or bull shark, but the force of a great white's charge attack slamming into their target more than makes yeah. up for it, and usually takes the stock no Dude, problem. That is just Hunting seal players is there. difficult because they're clever and try to avoid putting themselves at risk when they don't need to. This is why the Great White's ability to see above water is so crucial, because they can Quickness. see which islands and reefs their targets Wait. are hiding on and camp them out. Wait. Their blood sensibility is through the roof, and their electroreception ability is quite polished as so they well. Can... But nowhere near to the extent of the last water, build yeah. on my list, the Hammerhead. Now, the hammerhead. if you're a Hammerhead player, I'm willing to bet that when you look at this build, you think there? the player fell asleep during character creation and accidentally set eye width to the max. It's happened to most of us. But if you think this option is purely aesthetic and not intentional, you couldn't be more wrong. Hammerheads have the best, most well-optimized sensory abilities in the game. They have full panoramic vision and have binocular eyesight ahead and behind them, which gives them a massive accuracy bonus on the they attack have a full and a huge view. evasion Damn. bonus if they're being chased. With the chemo and electroreceptors on the front of their face, they essentially have 3D smell and 3D electroreception putting their spatial awareness almost as high as dolphins and bats. Their Damn. snout shape also lets them turn on a dime, which makes it so their attacks almost never miss. Furthermore, while they don't hunt together, they do travel in schools, providing safety in numbers and causing an intimidation debuff on pretty much the entire surrounding area. So that's the tier list for the sharks. As you can see, they're an amazing class with a lot of useful abilities and strengths Damn. to play around with. They have only a few bad mashups like dolphins, orcas, dolphins and a few other orcs, top tier yeah. fish like swordfish and marlin. I could see the. Thanks for watching. You may have noticed that this channel went from less than 10,000 to well above 100,000 within a single week. Sheesh. Which happens because YouTube started recommending my videos. So, to repay That's the YouTube I'm community here. for shooting my sub count to the moon, I'm going to make a few recommendations of my own for channels with low sub counts. First, I've got to shout out Metacurio, an educational channel on disease and medicine. 
Second is Vlogs of Knowledge, a channel dedicated to putting the cool and interesting parts of history in historical context and providing much needed background. Last is the Manitowoc Minute, the only thing good about living in Wisconsin. Check out our channel. Thanks again for watching, and if you got a build that you'd like me to analyze, be sure to leave it in the comments and subscribe so that you don't miss it when I actually do cover it. The Shark Tier List. So, I actually didn't know what tier list to react to first, and let's be real. He Tier Zoo has a lot of other tier lists, so if you, if this gets a lot of likes and y'all start recommending me some lit, some of the other tier lists, I'll be sure to check them out. But with that all being said, I want to thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. I want to see you in the next video.